Hello everyone and welcome to Captain Goodspeed Maths and another OCR FSM Q video on the new spec. We will be uh, doing all of the, the 2018 uh, plus uh, spec for uh, the freestanding mathematics qualification uh, for additional mathematics. Um, Joe, if you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe for the full um, sort of playlist if you like of uh, these lessons uh, it, if you're not aware I did them uh, a couple of years ago over on my main channel which is a gaming channel this is the only time I'll probably plug it it will be up in the top right corner if you're interested in that sort of stuff um, but uh, in incredibly positive feedback but obviously with the release of the new spec it was a perfect time to re-record these lessons update them a little bit and, uh, and, and make them a little bit better for you guys so Today we're going to be doing the distance between two points and the learn objective is of course to use relationships of coordinates to work out the distance between two points. So first thing uh, we want to do, um, if I can get onto my PowerPoint, here we go, uh, we can work out the distance uh, between two points or, or the length of a straight line using just the coordinates. Rulers will be a thing of the past uh, once you know this method and if you're given some coordinates, except for underlining dates and titles, of course. So, um, there you go. Uh, we won't be uh, drawn on grids or anything like that. We will just be using maths, which is uh, fantastic. All we need are the two coordinates that we know uh, the section of the line goes through. And that's what a, a, the question will say. So, if a line goes through two coordinates, A, B and CD, then the length of the line that joins them is the square root of D minus B squared plus C minus A squared. So uh, you can see there, that's a, the sort of maths of it. And if you want to think of it uh, uh, this way, then you know that uh, the distance between uh, that point, uh, or the, the height between that point and that point is uh, going to be uh, d minus b, which is this part of the equation, and uh, also the, the the sort of length between uh, these two points, um, sort of straight line uh, length is going to be c minus a because you see here your a here, so the the distance between them, or I shouldn't say the distance between them, the length between them um, is, is going to be uh, c minus a. So if you Think of Pythagoras, this line is uh, is, is going to be C minus A. This line is going to be uh, D minus B. So by Pythagoras, we'll square them both and square root them to get the uh, to get C squared, if you like. But uh, the way you want to think of this is back take back all squared plus front take front squared uh, and then take the square root. You, you need to let the formula do the work, but honestly do be careful of double negatives the amount of times the examiners will try and trip you up is insane uh, so make sure you do write everything out explicitly and you won't be caught out by those double triple quadruple negatives uh, I don't think a quadruple will ever happen here but there you go example one what is the length of the line that joins uh, 7 3 to 8 2 so what is the distance between those two points so first of all we quote our formula which we've remembered which will be uh, back take back squared added to front take front squared all square rooted we then put in the numbers so remember D is uh, this number so back take back so we're gonna stick 2 minus 3 in there and then front take front so it's gonna be 8 take 7 uh, there, and remember they're squared and square rooted, so tidy it up a little bit, uh, so it's going to be the root of minus 1 squared plus uh, the root uh, minus 1 squared, so that's going to be root 1 plus 1, which is root 2, so make sure you do simplify your thirds, and, and always leave it like this, don't leave it as a decimal, because that is just going to be uh, a horrible decimal, not, but 1.141 I think it is, uh, to 3dp, so... Don't give the examiner that. What they want to see is root 2. And obviously any sort of uh, units, centimetres, metres, stick that on there as well. Example 2. What is the length of the line that joins uh, minus 6, 8 to 4, minus 2? Well, once again, we quote our formula. Length is back take back squared added to front take front squared, all square rooted. We then put in our numbers. So minus 2, minus 8, 
all squared plus 4 minus minus 6 because remember there's a minus 6 here so it's 4 minus minus 6 uh, so be care careful of that double negative Simplify it up, obviously remembering that 4 minus minus 6 is actually 4 plus 6, which is 10. And then uh, work it out uh, is root 200, which uh, cancels out to root 100 root 2, which is uh, 10 root 2, not 4 root 2. First mistake of the playlist, that should be 10 there. Don't know why it's a four, uh, why it said four, but it is uh, ten root two, of course. Uh, what uh, root a hundred is. So make sure you do simplify your thirds. You'll probably get, uh, you'll drop a mark if you just leave it as root two hundred. But remember to cancel it down into this form here, ten root two. Example three, then the length of the line that joins uh, k seven to eight minus five is thirteen. What are the possible values of k? So something a little bit more applied here. So uh, again, we just go through the same motions. We quote the formula, back take back squared, add it to front take front squared, all square rooted. We then stick in our numbers, remembering that k is in fact a number. I know it's a letter, but in this instance, it is a, it, it is a number. So uh, you, you stick your, your points in uh, as, as you always do, but they've told you what the length is. They've told you the length is 13, so stick that in there as well. That, that's all that L is, is length, so stick that 13 there. Then just to tidy it up a little bit, I like to get rid of that ugly square root, so I square both sides. Um, and I've also sort of uh, squared out these these terms here. So minus 12 all squared is 144, um, and 8 minus k squared. Uh, the best way to, to square a bracket uh, is to square the first, square the second, and twice the inner product. So square 8, 64, square the second, k squared. The, the inner product is 8k, but we want to double it. So it's minus... 16k obviously with that minus there it's minus 8k so then you, you leave it like that then we tidy it up uh, so take numbers over the other side and stuff like that and we get a nice quadratic k squared minus 16k plus 19 is equal to zero that funnily enough factorizes to this and, and that uh, is another mistake actually that should be uh, 39 I'm pretty sure um, because three times uh, 3 times 13 is 39 and 3 and uh, 13 add up to, to make minus 16. There won't be this many mistakes in future videos, I, I do promise you that. Uh, apologies uh, about that one. But uh, k squared minus 16 plus 39 is 0. That factorises to k minus 3, uh, k minus 13. And then you solve that and you get k equals 3 or k equals 13. So, I think that is that. So, that means you can do absolutely everything on distance between two points. Apologies about the, the little mistakes in there. Honestly, just typos. Uh, and that's something that will be whittled out uh, come the come the end of it. I will probably be putting the, the PowerPoint in the, the description. It will be fixed of mistakes as well. Um, so if you do want to refer back to this at any point, please do. Um, and, and yeah, make sure you do subscribe for the, the, the rest of the OCR spec. If you're watching this for the first time, there will already be a playlist um, up on the channel and uh, every single uh, lesson I do on this uh, course will be put into the playlist so you can you can binge watch it the night before your exam but uh, if this is you know the, the night before your exam best of luck uh, for tomorrow I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine work hard you you, you know you're doing the work by watching this now uh, which is fantastic and and all the best in the world just remember the formula and, and let it do the work back take back squared add it to front take front squared all square rooted. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it or found it helpful, make sure you leave a like down below. Uh, if not, let me know down in the comments what I can do to improve in the future. And uh, let me know how you do in your FSMQ. I uh, really do like hearing uh, stories, success or not. So please let me know down in the comments and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.